plus 3. Tomorrow, mainly sunny, then some clouds roll in in the afternoon and a high of 18 degrees. Sunday, chance of flurries and a high of 8. Right now in Edmonton, it's 17 degrees. All right, so it's uh, 7.30 um, the day I'm leaving. It's really nice out. The sun's on its way up. I just got to put my bell on my bike, fill my water bottles, and then I'll be ready to go. I'm hoping to leave around 8 and arrive around 2. Um, so I'm just going to have some coffee, eat some breakfast, make sure I got everything, and then hit the road. All right, we're officially on the road. 74 more kilometers to go. It's pretty cold on my arms just while I'm biking. Everything else is fine, but I got goosebumps on my arms because it's a little chilly this morning. Biking with the wind makes everything a lot colder, but I think I'm gonna come to miss when it was this cold later in the day when the this thing gets a bit up higher in the sky. We're about, I don't know, maybe four or five kilometers in. And I hear some rubbing on the back. So, check that out. <clears throat> I mean, it's not a big deal. It's easy to fix. It's just, I didn't expect it to happen this quick. See now what I don't want to do is take the whole thing off because if I take the whole thing off it's a pain in the ass to put back on. So I'd rather not do that. Can't hear any rubbing yet but it's usually when I get on I start to hear the problems. Oh well. Yeah it sounds better now. Gotta make sure to stay out of the mud. The mud will be nothing but bad news because I got these, um, had to make sure I was rolling there because I got these fenders on the front and the back and the one on the back goes probably 270 degrees around the wheel. So uh, if I get mud in there, it's very difficult to get out. So for now, I'll ride on the grass. I got mud in there before and it was a real pain in the ass. But we're gonna be coming up on the river here. Should be nice. Maybe I gotta put stabilization on. Whoa. Uh oh, that's what I... Oh my god. Shit. Uh, this mud, I don't want to get in the mud. We're all good. Just came up the big uphill right there. Um, still got some more to go. Just found a nice bench to stop at. I'm tired after that hill, not gonna lie. I'm pretty tired. Whew. Stop for some water real quick and then get back on the road. That way. Here's a cool decorated tree. I had to stop when I was biking past. It's got flowers all over it and ribbons and Butterflies and stuff. That's really cool. Anyways, back on the trail. We're coming up on Fort Edmonton Park in a little bit, which is I think where I'll stop and eat breakfast. I didn't eat before I left, but I wasn't that hungry. And usually I can wait until 12 or 1 before I eat breakfast. So we'll see how I feel when I get there. There's so many birds out there. So, just arrived at Fort Edmonton Park. <clears throat> Gonna stop here for a, uh, a granola bar and take a little break. I'm about 15, 20 kilometers in. 
feeling really good so far. The bike's doing really good. No issues except for the mud getting stuck, but other than that, it's been great. The birds are chirping. It, it's beautiful out here. Um, Fort Edmonds Park. The sun is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. Um, beautiful day. So I'm just gonna sit here and have my uh, granola bar and then get back on the road. Check out this boat here. Whoa, that's pretty cool. There's some horses there. And the river on the other side. And an uphill coming up. Oh boy. Wow, look at that view. All right, we're back on the uh, in the city now. Look how big that raven is! Oh my god! Wow, that's that was a huge raven. We're back in the city, but it's nice because they got these bike lanes. Look at the ledge over there, Walterdale Bridge here. Sheesh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my. Across the way right there, that's like the old ferry terminal. And you take the boat across to this side to cover the river. That's really cool. And there's the uh, skyline in the background. Pretty neat place here. Turn around so you guys can see it. Really cool. But all the trails there are closed, so now I got to go up on there. I might just walk my bike up that way if I can. Because it's supposed to go over there, but all the trails are closed, so. Can't go that way. Hi, doggy. Hi. <laughs> Gotta get some sunscreen. It's so damn hot. For my arms are gonna get burnt. Hello. You guys have sunscreen here? No, right? All right. Thank you. Right. So it's official. There's the city of Edmonton sign. We're out of Edmonton. Then I'm gonna take this path here. I think it connects up with the route. I sure hope so. Uh, I just saw it on the map and I saw a sign that says bicycles this way. So I figured I'd follow it. Hope it's not too muddy. The river is so nice, holy. It's almost all melted here too, which is beautiful. Hello. This is where I'll stop and have lunch. And these picnic tables here. It's uh, 11.43, I haven't eaten today. Had a granola bar. Creamy beef and noodles with mushroom for, that's gonna be my lunch. There we go. This is what it looks like. I mean, not the most appetizing look, but it's food. All right, so here's the uh, beef stroganoff. I think it's gonna be very hot.
Pretty good. Slightly undercooked. Noodles are kind of hard still. <laughs> but first bite is pretty good. Alright, lunch is done. Packing up now. I'm gonna hit the road again. I'm about two hours out. So hopefully we can get there by 2.30, 3 o'clock. Let's aim for 3. Give us 30 minutes of leeway. Maybe stop and get some water along the way. The river's right there, so I could just go and filter some real quick. Because I used the whole water bottle for that lunch. But we're making good time so far. And I'm having lots of fun. It's uh, it's beautiful. The bike ride's been so beautiful and relaxing. So let's get back on the road. Found a uh, found a public washroom here to get some free water. There we go. So this is the uh, this is the new look for a while until I get some sunscreen. I had to put my long sleeve shirt on because it is so hot out here. My face, my nose is gonna burn. My ears are burning. So I had to take the short sleeve shirt off, put it on my head, put my long sleeve shirt on. It's gonna get so sweaty, but I don't have much option at this point. Uh, it's getting way too hot out here. There's not a single cloud in the sky right now. So I had to put my mask on to cover my face sunglasses so I'm pretty well covered head to toe now just uh worry about getting sunburned thank you all right I got the sunscreen it's right there there we go now I can take my long sleeves off guys watching the tracks I just gotta continue on this road for 19 kilometers go north a couple kilometers west another kilometer I mean east rather and then uh, and then I'm at the park limit and then from there I just got a bike down a trail but I really hope that's a nice river I really hope the trail or creek I really hope the trail isn't too muddy because uh, if it's uh, muddy, I'm going to have to be walking my bike the rest of the way, which I would not like too much. Luckily, this road isn't too busy. Um, that's the first car I've seen on this road. And I've been on it for about a kilometer now. All those boxes are all bee, high, or bee nests for harvesting honey, which is really cool old-fashioned way but yeah there's lots of bees buzzing around here I had to stop to change the GoPro battery it uh, it died but I have two spares and some portable chargers so should be fine 